Hello, today we're going to talk about lines in landscape. It can be overwhelming looking at a whole scene and not knowing quite where to begin. So today we're going to focus on two images and see where those important lines are. So let's have a look at the first image. It's really a very straightforward image. The most important line is where the land meets the sky. And you'll find there's a little hill at the back here, so you want to identify that. You want to identify this. You can see there's a little break in the moorland here. Not sure whether it's another hill, but it's definitely a different colour. Then there's another strong line here where the moor dips down and comes up again. And down here, this is a little more detailed, so perhaps what we will do here is just identify it with one single line. So let's take our tracing paper and tape it down to so it doesn't move around while you're drawing. You've got a nice 0.5 pen or well, you might like to do this in pencil first and identify first of all that hill in the background. See if we can get that very strong shape identified. There we go. And the second one. Whoop. Then there's this line which we thought was interesting, this little break in the moor here. And this very strong one here. And then there's a sort of a general change here, but we'll be more specific about that when we're actually choosing fabrics. So there we have it there. If you take it away now from its image, we can see it by itself. And you can begin to see the shift from your original inspiration to the beginnings of a pattern. Our other image today has buildings, so it's a slightly different concept. We've still got a really nice strong line between the land and the sky, but we've got these little very straight lines, which the straighter you make them, the more they will stand out from the background. Now this more is very much more general. It is full of hips and dips, because I remember I've been there, so I can invent some of the sense of this shape, but there's definitely a very strong line down here. So let's have a go again with our tracing paper, exactly as we did before. Get it nice and steady and stuck down properly, so that when we're drawing, it doesn't move around. Because tracing paper is very slippery stuff. Right, so first line. We identify this very straight one going right across here. Right across there. It's not quite level. Add that one in again. Now, here we have a very straight roof. Now, in, in the event of you making this up into a pattern, I would be inclined to rule these lines in with a ruler just to make sure they're absolutely straight. But we've got that little thing there, and the size of the house there, and the only come to about there because these little houses are deep in moorland and there's another line which goes up like this, and you'll find that these lines make the house look as though it's right underneath there. So let's give, take another of these lines across here. And then we were going to identify this general area down here with a bit of a swoop. And then again, when it comes to putting fabrics in here, we can play around with what those shapes might be in a larger size. So let's take it away again and look at it as we did the other one so that we can begin to see what a pattern might look like. And that's where you started from. And that's what we've come to. 
I hope that helps you identify the important lines in the landscape. For more hints and tips, subscribe or go to my website, effiegallatly.co.uk, where you can purchase my book, Patterns in Landscape. See you soon.